Welcome to the Health Fix Podcast, where health junkies get their weekly fix of tips, tools, and techniques to have limitless energy, sharp minds, and fit physiques for life. Hey, health junkies. On this episode of the Health Fix Podcast, I'm interviewing Debbie Wheeler. Debbie, along with her business partner, Morvan Shaw, are the masterminds behind Scotland-based women's health supplement, Cell Aura. Now, during the podcast, I kept saying Cell Aura, sounding so slangy American. But nevertheless, it is Cell Aura. And really what that means is cell is a short slang term in Scotland for self. And aura, of course, means Aura. So putting them together creates Solora. So Solora was born out of Debbie and Morvan's quest to find a natural solution for Morvan's perimenopausal symptoms. And they couldn't find what they're looking for in Scotland. And basically, they're looking for something clean and non-toxic. So with Debbie's background in holistic health, she pioneered the research along with Morvan at her side, and they found the best ingredients and best manufacturer for Solora. Now, what I love about Solora is these gals took every single symptom you could possibly experience going through perimenopause, menopause, and getting older just in general, and they figured out a way to counter all of them. Now, while this sounds like it might be magic and and snake oil, I assure you that Solora has been getting lots of results and even some of my patients are seeing some amazing stuff. I kind of think of it as the over 40 multivitamin that can be paired with bioidentical hormones for an extra boost because sometimes we just need like a, a little bit extra and maybe going up or and, and adjusting the hormones just isn't what we need. We just need something else to support the bioidentical hormones. And this is where I think Solora is is amazing. So whether we become deficient in certain vitamins or minerals or we become dysregulated with our nervous system or microbiome, solora has got it covered. So if you were looking for a natural solution to help with perimenopause, menopause, or even just the signs of aging, I believe Solora is something you definitely want to look into. So nevertheless, let's educate you a little more on Solora, what they're all about, and how they can help you. So let's introduce you to Debbie Wheeler from Solora. Hey, Debbie, welcome to the Health Fix podcast. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me on and for having Solora on. And it's lovely to meet you. Same here. Same here. It's been it's been a work in progress to get us here. But here we yep. are with time zones <laughs> and everything. So the first thing I was curious about, and of course, had to ask you was like, what's what's in the name of Solora? There's always something behind the name. So when you told me the description, I was like, oh, that sounds perfect. So give me give us the scoop. Let's let's tell folks what the name is is all about. Okay, thank you. Um, so we've thought long and hard about our name. Um, how do we want to represent ourselves? Um, and actually, the name Solora comes from the Scottish word, because well, we're based in Scotland. And um, the Scottish word for self, if you're sort of saying it in slang, is cell, as in you'd say my cell instead of myself. And then you've got aura. So it's all about your self aura. It's about, you know, protecting your aura, making your aura shine, making you glow. Um, so, yeah, that is self-aura. It's your own self-aura. Oh, my goodness. And it's so, you know, as we're going through the perimenopause and menopause journey, we're always like trying to figure ourselves out, right? We're almost like reinventing ourselves. So having something to help support our self-aura, mm -hmm. I mean, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> well, it's about, um, so, you know, it's, uh, I mean, I, I sort of, my background is holistic. So look, you know, we want to look at the body and mind and spirit as a whole. So, you know, it, it starts from within, but, you know, if everything within is good, everything on the outside is good. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, you know, it, it's about sort of what, what, what we put into our bodies, whether it be through our mouths and through the digestive system, whether it's on the skin, um or whether it's what's in our diet I noticed I saw earlier I loved um watching you in your garden with your herbs because I am absolutely the same I have herbs everywhere and I have plants in the garden and in the house so but it's just it's just you know being in nature and being surrounded by nature just really helps um you know and a lot of our ingredients come from the natural world so 
And and that's what, of course, drew me to you. And and of course, our mutual friend Helen from <laughs> from Finland. Yeah, yeah, I, yes. But, you know, it's it's interesting. You mentioned yes, playing with the herbs and and getting out in in the nature, and that you have a background in the holistic realm. Tell us a little bit about like what what was your first experience with with herbal medicine or holistic medicine, and you know oh, how sure. did that kind of shape where, where what brought you to where you are today with Solora? Okay, um, so. Um, when I was little, my parents lived um, in Brunei, Indonesia. Um, so this was back at the very end of the 60s, early 70s, giving my age away there. But um, And we, um, so my mum was very much interested in sort of the, um, the compounds and the remedies that sort of the Indonesian ladies would use. And she would go down to the Kadai and sort of, you know, there'd be all the herbs and the spices. And I think from then, my mum has always used essential oils in the home and natural remedies when she could. And she's just passed that down to me. Um, and then I was going through a sort of a tricky stage in my life, sort of in my 30s. Um, and I decided to retrain as a holistic therapist and it was just it was the best thing for me um and now I can share all that knowledge with everybody else so it started when I was very young <laughs> it it does seem for a lot of folks to be something that that comes to us when we're young for sure for sure mm -hmm. I know my experience too was it was at the teenage years so of course you have a sidekick Morvin, who is also part of, of the team as well. And of course, she's not here today, but the two of you kind of teamed up, right, at some point. And so I'm curious, what brought you two together to create Solora? What what conversations were you having? What kind of experiences were you having? How did, how did it all unfold? So um, Morvin and I have known each other for um, quite a number of years. Our sons are the same age, started school at the same time. Um, we got chatting, sort of. So we were friends first. We were friends first and foremost. Um, and confidence, you know. Um, and then Morvin, because she knew my holistic background, um, she was going, I'm sure she won't mind me saying this because it is in our story. She um, was having symptoms of perimenopause not quite realizing what it was um but she just came and sort of said can you suggest anything any supplements anything i can take that will help um and she also knew uh that i so i went through early menopause and i was in my early 40s um i tried hrt it didn't suit me um i tried it a few times i mean i'm talking 15 years ago i think things have sort of progressed since then but for me it just didn't suit me um, so I went down the natural route. Um, so Morvan came to me to sort of say, right, what did you do? So I sort of recommended a few things, but realized she was absolutely rattling because it was, you know, with the ashwagandha, then the selenium and the B vitamins and this, that and the other. So we just from there, it was, I don't know, it was a light bulb moment. It was like, surely we can find something that's got all of these in one formula um, so we had a little look, couldn't find what we were looking for at the time. Um, and so we just thought, right, let's do our research. And here's Solora. So oh my goodness. You know, I think I think it's 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 really something to be said about the hormones. And some people just do it does not suit them. And even the bioidentical versions of things today. Some people, we can work on all of the different optimizations of all the detox pathways and still their body is just like, this isn't what I want. And we have mm -hmm. to, you know, respect that, right? And and sometimes like, you know, what you have going on with, with Solora, this is something that the body can use possibly a little bit better. Some people don't tolerate herbs either. You know, sometimes the body just wants to do what it wants to do. And, and I think this is, this is something that the conversation needs to be come up, coming up more and more because a lot of folks right now are kind of like you were saying with 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 Mormon. She's trying this. She's trying that. She's kind of all over the place. And and I think a lot of people are not sure what to do, how to go about it in in mm -hmm. what kind of options they have. And of course, that's why I love to talk with different brands on the podcast, because it helps us to give folks a well-rounded idea of options. And that, like, if the bioidenticals don't work, okay, great. Let's try herbal yeah. or try herbal first and then, you know, whatever. 
Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I, I'm, I'm certainly not against HRT, and I know that there are many women who it, it really does help. And, and actually, you, um, Solora is also completely safe to take alongside HRT. So we have some clients who, um, have the HRT, but find they just need that little extra, which they get from Solora. Um, you get people like me who. I did try and it just didn't suit me, but the natural route and the ingredients that we've chosen, um, they do suit me and they suit lots of women. You know, the feedback we get is phenomenal. Um, but we, when we were looking um, to um, to make the formulation for Solora, we started off um, at the, we started right at the basics. So first of all, we looked at what do we want to target um, and I had I had charts all over the place, all over my office. I had I worked the old fashioned way. So I had huge flow charts of sort of um, the target. Um, what, what are the pain points? What do we want to you know, what are the main things that women suffer from during perimenopause and menopause? And we do all sort of we're all different. And we all experience a different perimenopause and menopause. But the pain points such as the lack of sleep. Um, lack of energy, lack of libido, you know, your immunity, your hair, skin, nails, joints. For me, it was very much joint pain. That's where I really wondered what was happening to me at the time. It was my joints. Um, so, so we looked at all of those, looking at the body systems as a whole. I needed to ensure that, um, as the you know, the holistic in me sort of wanted to look at all the body systems. So from there. We then looked at the benefits that we wanted to achieve. And then from the benefits, looked at the ingredients. And then once we'd sort of targeted the ingredients, then we went down the route of researching and finding those that have been clinically proven. Um, so we managed to find, we we got we were in contact with um, a company in Scandinavia who has access to a lot of the um, nutraceutical companies that had been running all the trials and we just wanted to see the hard evidence Mm -hmm. um and that's why so if it's in Solora it's had to work to get into Solora <laughs> that's I mean that's an important concept as we were talking about before there's a lot of companies out there that tend to be very popular but um it's a lot of thrown together ingredients mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. were just like oh someone said this was good for non mm -hmm. you know and and the you can see the specifics because every dosage on there matches the research amount and it's just thrown in. yeah <laughs> um yeah no so we and for us every, um all our ingredients they had to sort of they had to work on all the body systems they had to work in combination with each other as well um and we looked at the the different dosages so we put we've put in the optimal dosage to give you the benefits the proven benefits because you can, you can, you know, you can, as you say, there's so much out there. You can take different, um, different sort of supplements, but and, unless you really look at, I always say to people, look at what you're taking, look at your supplement, ensure it's it's reputable, it's credible, um, make sure there's no fillers in there, no bulking agents. There's no point having, um, you know, all these sort of amazing ingredients and then you pop it in something and coat it in titanium dioxide, which I know some companies do. It's like, why? Why would you coat all these beautiful things in poison? Um, so no. So with Solora, what you get is just the pure ingredients and that's it. And that's incredibly important to me in particular. And I think a lot of people are starting to come aware of this, but I still see every single day um, in the States, we have a brand that says the number one doctor recommended. And then we have another brand that says the number one pharmacist recommended. And they both have titanium dioxide and a whole bunch of fillers in them. And you're like, guys, guys, why do you think they say that that name? <laughs> it's, it's look who owns the company. <laughs> yes. Exactly. So, yeah, no, we we definitely we said everything we had to, you know, it had to be pure. It had to be the pure ingredients, um, had to be the best ingredients that we could find. And, you know, we are aware that um, Solora is it's a considered choice because of the, the purchase cost. But there's a reason for it. You know, we we have we sought to find and source the best ingredients in the world that we could find 
combine them into one simple formula. So we've got 13 ingredients in there. Um, seven of them are patented ingredients. The others are essential um, vitamins and minerals that are required for the body. Um, and it's just a case of take your Solora and crack on with your life. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to be able to just take. So I um, obviously for Morven, um, taking it in perimenopause menopause was you know was absolutely game changer and for me I take Solora I'm about as I said about 15 years post menopause I take it um so that I can future proof my well-being you know my heart my health my joint my joints are amazing now um so yeah it's 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 got multi-uses I think that's an important concept that you're taking it beyond menopause because I think mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of confusion out there and a lot of patients will say to me, well, how long do I take this for? And I'm like, well, how long do you want to feel good for? <laughs> you know, yeah. that's, that's how this works. So 15 years post-menopause and you're taking this in joints are feeling good brain. And I mean, obviously you're doing all the research and things here. That's mm -hmm. awesome. What other, like, if you had to look at your trajectory, right, of using Solora, what other mm -hmm. things besides the joint brain, what other things have you noticed in terms of particular benefits for yourself? Um, so for me personally, um, I think my hair, my skin, uh, my nails, definitely. I don't normally have painted nails. We're at a party <laughs> at the weekend. But um, I found for me and also probably the overriding thing for me after the joints, um, you know, I have no joint pain. I'm sort of very supple now. Well, as supple as you can be in your mid 50s. Um, but I think calming, calming and grounding has been Oh, a game changer for me. Um, and that's the adaptogens. You know, that's that's the KSM 66 ashwagandha. Um, it just leaves it feel I feel calm. You know, we all have stresses in our lives that these stresses aren't necessarily going to stop. Some we can stop some just because of the lifestyle we have or external factors. You might be going through short term stresses or long term. But if your body is at its best to be able to cope with the stresses and you are feeling calmer, more grounded, the stresses don't go away, but the way that you can react to them and the way that you can protect your health, your physical and your mental health, your well-being, um, if you can do that, then you're halfway there. I think that really helps. So for me, it was definitely the calming and the grounding. Um, but my, um, so my mother and my mother-in-law take it. They, sure they won't mind me saying, but they're both in their late seventies. Um, my mother-in-law takes it. She finds for her sleep. It absolutely, I mean, she's tried everything for sleep. Um, but she, Solora is, is the, her go-to now for sleep. And my mum, um, she was having, um, sort of, you know, her hair was sort of slightly thinning and again, sort of lack of energy. So my mum takes it, you know, to support support those areas. And then you've got the behind the scenes stuff that nobody actually really realises. You've got your heart health, you've got your bone health, you know, you've got the combination of the K2 and the D2. And they're just working to sort of direct the calcium in, in your diet to the bones and away from the heart. So we're protecting both there. Um, so yeah, we're looking after not just your short term health, we're actually looking after the long term health as well. And I think that's really important, particularly for women. Um, that's, um, you know, I, I think I would, I sort of would like, to, I, I would say that it's like, um, it's not a quick fix. It's, it's a long wellness journey. But this is, I think, life in general. You know, you've got to have the diet. You've got to have the get out in the sunshine, the exercise. It's a whole combination of everything. But that will all lead to long-term well-being. Yes, yes. I absolutely agree. I think we get stuck in that idea of, you know, the the pill, the quick fix pill and the pill that's going to yeah. help us, you know, and then, then we're done with it. But, I, you know, the way I was looking at so Laura, as I was like, oh, this is kind of like a multivitamin of sorts, you know, like your, your, your old, how do I, how would I call it? Like your, your, and I don't want to say older women multi because I'm older now. Um, you know, so it's like, it's like, how, how do I say this? I guess it's like the, the postman, the perimenopausal and, and beyond. Yep. Multivitamin. Yep. Absolutely. That, yep. It is. It's sort of, I, I, I sort of think it supports our journey into sort of the 40s, 50s and beyond. Um, and yeah, 
It is. And I, I actually think it, it's an amazing, I mean, I can say that because I'm biased, but it's an amazing all rounder. And as I say, the reason being was all the ingredients had to have action on at least one of the body systems, because let's face it, when we are facing something, when, you know, when something in the body isn't quite right, um, you just think to, you know, cut your finger, oh, I'll just sort of patch up the finger and sort of, whatever. but when you're taking supplements, you need to ensure that they are acting on the whole body and therefore you're in optimum health. And as I've said, you can then face what, you know, get up and face the day, whatever the day is going to throw at you. Um, so, yes, yeah, so it is. Thank you for, for, for sort of pointing that out. But yes, it is. It is a great all rounder. Um, yeah, I was thinking of it as like replacing because a lot of people will take a multivitamin just in general. Yeah. Like, well, why not have a multivitamin that you can take that has all of the whole body specific purpose for you as a woman, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I think that's genius. Now you had mentioned something that not many people talk about. And it's something that I try to talk about a lot with my, my clients and, and on the podcast is that you can mix bioidentical hormones with herbs and, and, and mm -hmm. one of the ways I see it, and, I, and I'd love to hear some of the stories that you have either, you know, with, with, folks you know or what you've heard from mm. some of your clients is is sometimes when you're taking a bioidentical hormone you're you're not getting full like your symptoms aren't fully relieved mm -hmm. and if you go up higher on the dosage now you have side effects of too much estrogen yeah. or too much progesterone or something of that nature yeah. but i found the herbs to be incredible for kind of getting rid of the rest of the symptoms and pairing it together. So tell us a yeah. little bit about what you've seen with different clients, folks, you know, who've been using the product and bioidentical hormones. Um, so we actually, it's quite interesting. So we had, um, we have a client who um, actually is a GP and she um, initially was taking Solora. Then she was on to the bioidentical, the HRT, and so she stopped to Laura for a while and then she came back to us and said, actually, is it is it safe to take the two together? We knew absolutely. I mean, we we you know, we had this um, clarification from the um, nutraceutical companies from the very get go. And yet, yeah, absolutely, 100 percent safe to take. And um, so she she went back on it and she said, yeah, it just she said it was it just gave her that extra lift that she couldn't get from HRT alone. So it just, I think it just gives you that extra support. Um, and I think that will be the adaptogens. So, you know, and, and the adaptogens that are coming from the herbs, they have to, you know, they action on the body, you know, they're non-toxic. They have to influence all the body systems or many body systems. And the main thing is that they do, they help to, um, they help to maintain homeostasis balance within the body. So if you're taking adaptogens um, alongside your HRT, sort of what you may not, as you say, if you're on a lower dose, what you may not be getting the full benefits of that from, you top up with your Solora and the adaptogens that are in it, which back to the helping you to fight the stresses that are going on in the day. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think the adaptogens are, are quite beneficial for, yeah. for anybody on this planet and trying to survive the, the stress, you know, stressors of yeah. life. But I do think, you know, we talk a lot about cortisol, right? But, and folks are always like, I need to calm my cortisol. I need something to shut down the cortisol, but it's mm -hmm. also like, mm, maybe it's more the regulation of, yes. of the nervous system that we really need versus yes. You know, killing the cortisol all the time yes no i know and you're right so so you know so the adaptogenic herbs they they sort of help don't they they help to sort of the action on the adrenal i mean i'm not a i'm not a, a medical gp but they they obviously action on the adrenal system and then help with that lowering and as you say it's the balancing it's mm -hmm. the balancing of it because you don't want to eradicate it eradicate it totally um you might need to run for a bus or you might need to run away from a lion or whatever but it's it's um you it's about balancing everything and this is coming back again to Solora and its ingredients it's all about balance yeah yeah mm -hmm. I mean balance is so 
so important. And, and I think, you know, for a lot of people, we're trying to achieve that, right? And, and in some cases, you know, as you get older, sometimes wine comes in, then you start to have reactions to the wine, then you can't t- tolerate coffee, then you're like, Oh, what do I do? <laughs> what, what, what can I eat? <laughs> I know. What can I eat? What, what can I drink now? Where can mm-hmm. I even go? Like it, 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 for a lot of women, it can be really incredible. And, and, you know, I'm kind of in the beginning of my perimenopause journey and I've noticed like I, I was never good with caffeine. So that wasn't ever an issue for me, but the, the wine, you know, I liked it there for a while. And now it's like, can you oh, no. <laughs> can't even tolerate it. It's true. It changes. I think our tastes change and what we can tolerate changes. Um, You know, sort of, it's amazing, actually, the impact that the declining estrogen has on the body. And not, as you say, it's not just the obvious, not just the obvious things that we think about, like the joints or, you know, the the sort of fluctuating of the periods, um, you know, and the brain fog. It has an impact on the whole body. Um, and, and do you know, and I think the best way for us to deal with that is to go, OK, right. I can't do this anymore. But I, I, I what I trying to do is find an alternative. I like to think, well, if I can't do that, let's find an alternative. And I'm very much, very, very much so um, a believer in do what makes you happy. Just do what makes you happy. As long as you're not hurting anybody else, do what's good for you. Do what makes you happy. You will then be the best version of yourself that you can be. And again, you are, and if, you know, you're then just in a better mindset and a better place physically and mentally to cope with whatever's going on in your day, in your life, in your world. Um, So true. It's so true. I think, you know, when we hit perimenopause and menopause and there's so many changes, right? mm -hmm. I think a lot of people start to feel like they've lost themselves. And yes. I noticed one of the ever not ever one of the reviews on your website was like, I'm back to feeling like myself again. Yeah. Do you get that quite a bit in terms of folks commenting from using the Solora supplements? We do. And it's it's lovely. It really is lovely when we we read this. Um and because it's awful to feel like you've lost yourself and it has an impact not just on yourself, but it has it on your family, your friends, your work colleagues, um, your life and, you know, your whole life. But to hear that um, we have helped bring somebody back to themselves or back to where they want to be mm-hmm. is just amazing. It really is. Um, I think sort of um, another another sort of one of our testimonials that I really like um, is one lady sort of said she's got addicted to feeling good by using Solora. And I just thought, what? well, that's an, you know, if you're going to be addicted to something, be addicted to feeling good. And I just thought that was brilliant. Um, yeah, um, absolutely. Um, and we've had other stories of um, reviews where there was one lady and it was actually her hairdresser that got in contact with us because this lady had um, incredible, she, her hair was breaking and she had lots of hair loss. And her hairdresser had asked permission. She took um, before photos and then after photos. Unbeknownst to us, we didn't we didn't know. You know, this was just you know we we didn't actually you know know this lady, um, but she was on Solora, and she'd mentioned to her hairdresser that she was on Solora, and it was the hairdresser that gave us the feedback and said, "You need to see this," and it was absolutely amazing. The hair growth um, for this, and, and again. For her, for the lady's feeling of self worth as well, you know, it it's your self esteem. Um, it you know, if if your hair is important to you, some people it's not, but if your hair is important to you and you feel you're losing it, as you say, you feel like you're losing part of you. To be able to get that back is is you know, it's fantastic. The hair is such a crucial component. It is. I, I've had so many people in my office over the years in tears because of the hair. And Mm -hmm. it's frustrating. And and unfortunately, a lot of folks have kind of touted that, you know, the bioidentical hormones will bring it right back and things of that nature. But I haven't seen 
a lot of success in many products. So this is this is good to hear that we may be able to help some folks in this department too. So that's awesome. I'm guessing you have those. Do you have those pictures of before and after? I was going to say I can share that. Yeah, absolutely. We can share those with you. Absolutely. Um, and as I say, this was not something that we had set out to um, to find. This this is information that came back to us, and we were we were delighted. We're absolutely delighted um, to have been able to help. I just hope that we can help more, more, you know, and you're right, because I think if you feel like you're losing part of yourself, as we've said before, you, it's, it's not, it's not fun. It's not good. And it, it impacts you mentally. It impacts you physically. So yeah, yeah, we're just really happy to help. Yeah. Oh, it's so important. Now we've been talking about the supplement version that you guys have and you have essential oils as well. So let's, let's talk a little bit about that because a lot of folks are into essential oils and, and what the feedback I get from, from patients and clients is, is that I don't really know how to use them and I don't, okay. you know, I want a blend that I know works. And so yeah. of course, that's kind of where you guys come in and different other companies I have talked with about the different calming blends, the different types of things. So uh-huh. give us a little background on on your different oils and, and how you decided these were the ones you were going to come up with. Give us. Okay. Some- yep. So um, as I said, my, my, um, background is holistics so I first started out blending essential oils probably 30 years ago um so when we sort of had when Solora was up and running and we have you know we had the supplement ongoing and then we were sort of working on um uh, you know a, a second supplement also in the background of thinking do you know I'd really like to go back to doing what I really love doing which is blending oils so we um blend so we have uh, three blends at the moment again each one to help support um, women, perimenopause, menopause, and beyond. So we have what we call a focusing, which is one, I think this is the most popular one. So it does what it says on the tin. So it's a focus thing. Um, and in there, it's lovely. It's got a really, really lovely scent to it. Um, and I think that's important. You've got to like the smell of the essential oil that you're using, as well as the benefits of it going through the skin and into the bloodstream, You've got to like the smell. If you don't like the smell, it's no good to you. So in that, we have rosemary for concentration, um, bergamot, because very uplifting. So you've got that sort of the concentration, the uplifting. And then um, we have geranium and clary sage in there, which, you know, they're sort of grounding and balancing, um, particularly for women. They're great um, essential oils for women. And I tend to find, I have one on my desk at work. So when I'm working, just put it onto my pulse points and just inhale it, get it up, get the olfactory nerve sort of zizzing with it. And it just, you know, if you feel like you're flagging, I mean, get up, go and have a walk around. But also I I put the focusing on and have a good, good sniff of that. So that's really good when you want to feel uplifted. Um, And then we have the midnight oil we call, which Morven um, coined this one. And I thought it was a brilliant name. So the midnight oil is for if you are having trouble just sort of settling off to sleep or you know how for some people they can go to sleep and they wake in the middle of the night and it's hard to switch off and get back to sleep you get your little pot of midnight oil on your bedside again just add some to your wrist to your pulse points back of the knees um you know temples and just inhale it and do some deep breathing so in there we have lavender, which is calming, um, chamomile, which, as you know, is again, is very calming. It's very good for sleep. Um, neroli, um, I think neroli is wonderful. I, uh, just the scent of neroli is just, I uh, just uplifting again, but not into, you know, not not in the excitable way that some can some can make you. But my favorite ingredient in there is the frankincense, mm. because frankincense has been used for thousands of years and it has the ability to slow down and deepen the breath and sort of help you into that meditative state state so yeah the midnight oil perfect as your little bedside companion if you can't sleep um and then our other oil is we call it the balance me bath time and you can put this in the bath and it just helps to just come you know at the end of a stressful day run yourself a bath, put that one in. Again, we've got the lavender, geranium, frankincense and bergamot in that one. So this is kind of, it's a balancing combination. 
just to help you sort of soothe away whatever's gone on during the day um, and help get you prepared for your bedtime routine. Lovely, lovely. They all sound glorious. I'm kind of thinking, oh, yeah, I could I could see every single one of those being useful. And 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 what I hear from different folks and just in general for for soothing, right? Essential oils yeah. are just so lovely in that department. But you're right about the scent because there are some that I've smelled them and like. Mm. Um, yeah. I don't know what it is. Me, myself personally, Ylang Ylang and I do not get along. It's no, like, me neither. No, oh. absolutely. I am exactly the same. I wonder yeah. I wonder how many of this, us are out there. Because any and something, <laughs> I'm like, I don't like it. No, no. It's just too heady for me. It's just too strong. Um, but yeah, you've got to like it. And I think that was one of the things when I very first started um, my studies, and I remember um, our college lecturer saying, "You, you, and well, not missing, but your clients have to like this the smell. There is no point you blending up what you think is the perfect blend for them. You've got to let them smell it first before you do the full blend. Because if they don't like it, start again." And I've always remembered that. I've taken that one with me because it's true. If you don't like the smell of something, mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want it near me. The other interesting thing, is, and maybe you've experienced this too, is some people, once you get it onto the skin, the scent kind of takes on a little bit of different kind of hue yes. as well. Yes, yes, it will do. But it's, it's like perfumes, isn't it? Some different perfumes will smell differently on because we've got, you know, or we're sort of our, our, for want of a better word, our excretions are all slightly yeah. different. So the excretions, the hormones, the pheromones in our sweat and on our bodies will interact differently with the essential oils and the scents going on there. So yeah, what what works for one person might not necessarily work for another. Um, but I've we've gone with blends. Um, specific, again, I, I'm very specific when we choose whether it's the ingredients going into Solora or the ingredients going into the essential oils ones that um have an action will absolutely have an action but also as well ones that i find that most people can tolerate yes yes mm -hmm. absolutely absolutely no i i think there's things to think about you know when it comes to creating your experience when you're working with products, especially the essential essential oils. Now, mm -hmm. speaking of experience, one of the things you have on the website is what someone is supposed to feel and experience while taking Solora at different stages for weeks to uh -huh. time, you know, month, et cetera. And I found that fascinating because it's one of the things that a lot of folks will ask me, like, what am I supposed to feel like? You know, what's mm -hmm. supposed to be happening? Where am I supposed to be? at a month in? Where am I supposed to be at two months in? How do I know if this is working for me? So mm -hmm. give us give us the background on how you you came up with the experience and and what you guys, you know, how many of you were there taking it? You know, what was, <laughs> what was going on? Give us the background. Yeah. Okay. So we did an in-house trial uh, when we first created Solora. We wanted to know, we wanted all the feedback. So we wanted um, real, real time, real women feedback is what we wanted. You know, we'd we'd listen to the uh, nutraceutical companies, we'd read all their reports, but we needed to know, right? Well, okay, that's fine. Let let's let's see what it does for real women. Um, so we did that, um, and actually, it's a, it, and like what I would say with all supplements, you need to give at least three months for the compounds and all the nutri, you know, the nutrients to start actioning on your body systems to feel the full benefit of a supplement. And I would say that with any supplement um, to do that. So what, again, what we did, we looked at sort of layering our, so with our ingredients, we ensured that some of the ingredients would give you that instant lift that, you, you know, when you're not feeling great, you want you want something to work and you want it to work quite quickly. So we put the B vitamins in. So we've got the B6 and the B12 to give you that instant lift, the energy that you require helping sort of with, with the sleep. You know, they're good for helping with sleep um, so that it will tide you over. So you get that first lift from those. And then as the weeks go by and you take more and you're layering up with the ingredients, um, the probiotic would then you know sort of help sort of with the gut the um we have a, a well immune in there for immunity so then you, your immune system after about a month should really start to work better than it was um and with the gut um sort of work hopefully working better 
whatever you're taking in on your with your diet and with the supplement is going to then be of more benefit to your body um so then and libido we sort of you know after a few weeks hopefully your libido because that's let's face it that's one thing that when you're going through perimenopause for a lot of women it just flies out of the window um you know you're tired you're irritable there's stuff going on and it's the last thing you want to think about so but it's important it is important it's part of our bodies it's part of you know if it's important to you then let's get it back um, so that's another one. So that's that's so we made sure we had the libid firm in there to help support libido. So that will come in. And I I would find that the latter sort of um, your feeling of calm and feeling of well-being, that's going to come over a period of, of sort of the two to three month period whilst the adaptogens are building up into the body um, and the nootropics. So we've got the... Um, Bacopa in there to help with concentration, brain fog, um, which <laughs> I do need. Um, so it, it's it's that layering effect. So don't expect miracles from day one, but you will get that in within the first few days. You'll get that instant lift of the B vitamins and then the others will start to come in in, in sort of that order. That makes sense. And this was the feed, this was the feedback that we got, and, and for ourselves. I mean, obviously, we trialed it on ourselves. So this was, uh, you know, this is real feedback from real women. <laughs> very important, very important. I mean, you oh, have yes. months of research, you know, that you had going into this. Then you had your product research, you know, probably incorporated in there with all of you guys testing things out. I mean, it's it's important to hear that, right? I. I question a lot of other companies as to if they've really had someone actually test it out, you know, and Mm -hmm. what what happened. Not many people are putting that out there uh, or not many products are saying that. So you wonder, right? Yeah. Incredibly important. So, oh, go ahead. No, no, I was going to say, I think, I think within the supplement world, what we have realized and what we've, we've come within our research, it is quite tricky to get a full, um, to get a true, a true, true um, clinical trial in the supplement world, and I think that's that's probably why. Um, but it's still very, very important to do it, and it, you know, it's important. So, and this is again back to the ingredients. This is why we chose the ingredients we did because they had been through the clinical trials with real women, um, and then we did our own afterwards. So it's been you know triple tested. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's really important to, to have, have that. And I think for a lot of people, that's, that's a good thing to hear because we'll Mm -hmm. see reviews online, you know, and wonder, are they real reviews? Are they, you know, did someone pay these folks? What, what happened? But to hear it from, you know, multiple folks, they've tried it, they feel better. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, Mm -hmm. it's kind of like having your, your girlfriends in your circle, right? Tell you like, girl, you got to try this, right? You know, and, and see the differences in each other too, which I think is, is very important um, Mm -hmm. as a whole. Now, I'm always curious with anybody in the industry of helping with menopause and, and beyond, What's next? What are you guys? What are you guys in the process of tossing around in terms of ideas right now? What can folks expect from you? What What's happening? Um. So <laughs> we um we're always looking at ingredients. We are always looking to see because you know as progress goes on, sort of um and we we do get um obviously we have links with all these companies, so we're in contact with them all the time. So we do like to, we have changed out over you know in the, in the time since we first the first concept of Solora, we have tweaked a couple of the ingredients because we just want to keep ensure that we're keeping up with the best. Um, we also quite, uh, we've had quite a lot of, um, uh, queries about a supplement for men mm. and for teenagers. So we have, um, we have actually been working quietly in the background, been looking at a formula for men. Um, a lot of, a lot of our clients are sort of saying, can my husband take this? And my answer to that is absolutely yes. Because, you know, the Solora, the Solora supplement, the ingredients in there, the compounds in there, are so beneficial as you say it's almost it's like it's that next level multi isn't it you know it, well it is beyond a multivitamin because of the ingredients in there but it's that next level but um 
we are looking at a male supplement and also we've also been asked to look into um, supplements for teens, which I think is very important. And you've got to be very careful when you sort of with teens, with whatever, you know, what they're putting into their body, they're still developing, um, but they need that help, you know, with the skin and the confidence. So, so watch out, watch this space. <laughs> No, that's a, I mean, it's a huge concept to to think about the teens and and young women in particular, because what I've seen is many women who struggle in perimenopause and beyond are the women who have issues when they're young. Mm -hmm. And yes, because it, it's just if, if your hormones, you know, some people can sail through their hormones that, you know, they, they sort of don't have huge hormonal swings through life as a teenager and then through I mean I was you know I was fairly lucky um I didn't have particularly horrendous um sort of mood swings when I was sort of a teenager although my parents might say differently but I I think I handled it okay um but again I I I sort of as far as sort of the the mood swings and the emotions I was okay with all of that side but I know for some people it's a huge thing you know and and as you say the fluctuations and the way our body copes with the difference, the different hormones as they come flooding in and as they start to peter out, we're all different. We're all individuals. Right. No, it's it's so important to think of that. Yes, we all are different. We have different needs, but mm -hmm. there's there are some underlying needs that you guys have covered with with yeah. Laura. And you know, just to highlight, because I don't know, I know folks told me not to go in the sub the ingredients, but I'm kind of like. I want to highlight <laughs> some of them because I mean, you, you've got, you've got the ashwagandha, like you mentioned, you've got mm -hmm. the fenugreek, you know, which is huge for libido, of course. And, and you got turmeric. So there's the anti-inflammatory, um, mm -hmm. you know, you've got all the things like the bacopa for the focus, the shavari, which is like, I see it it's as. Very, it's ahead. very nourishing, isn't it? Sorry, I'm interrupting you, but yeah. Yeah, it's incredibly good for women. Did you know that Shatavari um, in sort of Ayurvedic, they say um, the name um, Shatavari comes from she who possesses 100 husbands. <laughs> Why you would want to, but. <laughs> it sounds but like a lot of work. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so clearly needed Shatavari. Um, but, it's, but it's very nourishing. It's very nourishing for, for the female body. Um, but yeah it's 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 great you know one of the things that when i looked at the 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 list of the supplements you know that stood out to me that was different right and, but interesting at the same time is that you had some beta glucans in there yes and, and those guys you know are are not in your typical menopausal perimenopausal formula what was the thought process on that um again the whole body I want, I, I sort of, I, there I am back in my office with my flow, with my diagrams and charts and you know, looking at all the body systems um, and immunity. Um, and actually when we started all of this just pre-COVID, so of course then immune, your immune system and immunity at the time was, was sort of a, you know, a big deal to us all. But again, my holistic, the holistic side of me thought, it's part of the body systems. It's incredibly important. You know, if your immune system's off kilter, then you forget everything else. So that was that was why it was important to include. So, you know, if your immunity is good, you can fight off whatever's coming at you. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. And you even have probiotics, lactobacillus, acidophilus, I mean, which yeah. is like the, the master that I would call it of. Mm -hmm. Those, so mm -hmm. you snuck that in there. And I think an, another really interesting one that folks might see and be like, D2, yes. not D3. We've all been told D3 is what we're supposed to have. Yes. So D2 is for, um, so I, um, for vegetarians and vegans, it, for me, it was, it was sort of, it was totally, you know, some of the D3s are from, I know that some, you can get some from the lichens, but some are from sort of like the sheep's wool and the lanolin. But we also looked again, we went into the research and had a look and the research that is now, and again, I can share this research with you. I can, I will actually share this with you. Um, the D2 and the D3s are comparable in 
um, the amounts that we, the body can and receive and store and use. So it was, initially it was because I wanted um, this to be suitable for vegans, but also again i had to we had to ensure that the d2 was going to work so we looked at we looked at all the studies so which I, i'll share them with you i'll share those with you sure that'd be great because a lot of people don't think of d2 as being as powerful because we've kind of been conditioned to think about mm -hmm. it in mm -hmm. this way but at the same time we know mushrooms contain vitamin d and can be helpful so it's kind of like oh well that makes sense yeah. you know it's yeah absolutely it's one, of, one of those things now of course the vitamin b12 and b6 Per make perfect sense in terms mm -hmm. of helping with hormones and balance there. Mm -hmm. And then the one that I like a lot is that you have selenium in there because I can't tell you how many women, when the hormones are on a roller coaster and, mm -hmm. and they're even in the perimenopause, the thyroid tanks big time. Was yes. that your thought process with the selenium? Yes, absolutely. It was. Um, I just thought with the, the, the metabolism, um, the thyroid health, um, and also it's great for, you know, for the hair, skin and nails. Um, and it was something that I, uh, it was one of the ones that I get, I said to Marvin, you know, at the beginning, before we, um, before we developed Solora, it was one of the ones that I said to her, take, you take this, take it. Um, so that definitely had to be in there. Um, yes, because you're right. So the thigh, you know, it's very important. I think as we get into perimenopause and menopause, it, <sighs> Our thyroid, you know, our thyroids do, you know, a lot of women think that there's there's sort of a, a balance, isn't there, between menopause and your thyroid function. And I think sometimes people test for one and it can be the other. So, yeah, no, very much the, the thyroid health was important. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you've, you've covered it. I mean, it's it's the adaptogenics with the Shadavari, the Ashwagandha, you know, Bacopa, those guys paired with a little bit of boost for the the thyroid. Is, it's what I've seen uh -huh. hands down to be the the things that that move the needle, making sure you address the adrenals and and the the thyroid too. So and it's it's a solid formula. I I I like it. Yeah. it looks good. It's good to hear. Thank you. <laughs> and obviously we have people getting results. So that's the most important thing. Well, that is, it is, it is the most important thing. And, and um, see a lot of people talk about results and wanting the results. And, and you're right. Some people don't care what they put in their bodies as long as it makes them feel good. But for us, we wanted people to feel good and they wanted, we wanted them to have the benefits, but we wanted to ensure that it was going to be something that we were happy to take. You know, so this is where, so everything that's in Solora is, is something that I absolutely would, and I do, you know, I take my, I take Solora, but it, all the ingredients had to be something that I would happily put in my body. Otherwise it didn't get in. <laughs> yeah, no, that's huge. That's huge. And, and something to think about, because I think a lot of people don't think about what builds up in your system over time. No, no. Okay. So Tell us a little bit about how folks can find you. I know you guys have a podcast because I have the pleasure of getting on the <laughs> Unpause the Menopause podcast. Um, tell us all about where we can find you, you know, different, all the things. Let, let, give us all okay. the things. Okay. So, um, so, so, well, there's, there, there's the logo. So that's Solora. So, um, so we um, find us on our website is www.solora.com. Um, and that will take you to our website. We're on Instagram. We are Solora underscore life. Same on Facebook. Um, we have a LinkedIn page. Um, but yeah, at the moment, so do, we are um, online we are just in talks at the moment to get into various clinics. Nice. Um, and we also are um, actually very importantly as well for um, folks over in the US. We also have um, we have our FDA registration. We have that approval and we have um, our we have our packaging is slightly different, you know, for the labeling. So that, you know, um, for the folks in the US. But we're just um, finalizing having fulfillment done over in the US. So that will help with the cost of um, the postage and any, I don't know what the taxes and duties are over there when you import, but um, once we get it over and fulfilled in the States, then that's going to make it a whole lot easier for, because we have quite a lot of customers in the States 
Um, and, you know, and again, that's really, um, for us, that's really important proof of concept. People from America are actually having it shipped over from us, from the UK, um, because they like it. It works. It, you know, it, it suits them and they don't want to be without it. Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. Of course, I have you guys on my website as well. So so folks can can access yeah. Salora as well on my website. And I think that's important. You know, there's also a little bit of us, us Americans. We were like, I got it from Europe, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and so we have that little thing that, that you know, there's that little extra better. thing in there. It, yeah. If you got it from Europe, it's way better than anything. You can <laughs> and ours, um, is, ours is actually manufactured in the UK, and the um, the company that um, that manufacture Solora has been going for oh gosh, over fifty years. It's a fantastic company. Their ethics and their good manufacturing practices, you know. Again, we had to we had to go for the best. Everything in Solora had to be the best from the suppliers to you know, the ingredients actually are the star, the star ingredients, the suppliers and our manufacturer. We we had to ensure they were they had to pass our standards, which, you know, they're quite high. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. so you're getting the good stuff. Definitely. Incredibly, <laughs> incredibly important here in, oh, in so this stage. Oh my goodness, Debbie, such great stuff. I have learned a lot about your company and definitely how things are helping folks. Oh, can't say enough. And and I'm excited that, you know, you've double checked on everything being safe, of course, with with the bioidenticals. I think that's important for folks to hear too. Yeah. And, and being know very much. Yeah, have that option. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks again for coming on. I have no doubt as as you guys come up with some new things in the future, we'll bring you back and uh, talk a little <laughs> bit more. Thank you. It's been absolutely delightful chatting to you. Thank you for putting me at ease. And uh, yeah, hopefully next time we'll have more of them with us. Um, and uh, yeah, no, just thank you so much. Really appreciate being invited on. Thank you. Hey, fellow health junkie. Thanks for listening to the Health Fix podcast. If you enjoyed tuning in, please help support me to get the word out about the podcast. Subscribe, rate, and review, and just get that word out. Thanks again for listening.